Mario Kart. You know it, you love it. It's the perfect party game that just about anyone can pick up and enjoy. It's no wonder that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the most recent and polished game in the series, has sold over 70 million copies. For perspective, that is almost double the second best seller for the series, Mario Kart Wii, which had 37 million copies sold. For even greater perspective, that's better than some of the best selling games ever. The Witcher 3 had a whopping 50 million, Red Dead Redemption 2 sold 63 million, and even Super Mario Bros, the game that literally everyone has played, sold 58 million copies, which is less than Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Naturally, Nintendo looked at this overwhelming success and they did what they normally do. Well, they, they ignored it for years. Until finally, in 2022, five years after the Switch edition came out and eight years after the initial Wii U release, they finally released a paid DLC pack of six waves of tracks to race on. Since all of the race tracks have been released for a while now, I thought it'd be a good idea for me to go back and look at each of the courses and give my thoughts on them. So for today, we're going to cover the Mushroom and the Flower Cup. Let's get right into it. Mario Kart Stadium. For our first course of the game, I think it's a really solid one. It's got all the makings of a typical introduction track. It's got this nice little section that introduces the anti-gravity mechanic pretty well. And on top of that, it's just a solid course all in all. For one thing, it's at night and most of the starter courses in the other games don't start out at night. In fact, I don't think any of them do. Could be wrong, but you can check me on that. Of course, you got the obligatory giant statue of Mario. The soundtrack for this course is nice. It's kind of exciting and uplifting. And that, in addition to the crowd sounds in the background, really make it feel like, like an actual race. This one is one of the tracks that feels racetrack -y. It's nice. It's like you're in an actual stadium for like Indy 500. I like this one. The water park is a nice pleasant little course. It's not super long but it's nice. It takes you kind of on like this roller coaster type thing but it also highlights the underwater mechanics from the previous game Mario Kart 7. And what's really cool about this one is that if you look in the background you can see like other roller coaster stuff kind of like it's a Coney Island-esque area, maybe like Cedar Point, that's near the water too. And it's pretty cool because it just feels like an amusement park with the Wario wheel up there, and it's got Wario overalls, Mario overalls. It's really nice, it's really pleasant. The soundtrack is upbeat, and it sounds like it's ripped straight from a beach level of a Mario game. Like, Mario 3D Land, 3D World, it just kind of sounds watery, beachy. All in all, I like this course too. Sweet Sweet Canyon. Now this one, this one's really neat. Then I actually have to have this one pulled up while I talk about it because I cannot remember. There's just so much stuff to point out. Like when you start up, you go into this little donut tunnel and that's really cool. Oh. There's so many desserts everywhere. You go underneath either honey or syrup. I don't know. Either way, they're sweet. There's like waffle cone and wafer windmills. There's gingerbread men cheering from stands. There's ice cream trees. The traffic cones are kind of like little candy cane things or candy corns. It's just a very sweet looking track, literally. And on top of that, the soundtrack is really bouncy and upbeat. It makes you feel like you're in that one scene of Winnie the Pooh when he's hallucinating about honey. That's what this whole, whole course feels like, and I really like it. In fact, I would say I love this course. This is a very good one. Thwomp Ruins. Now this one is interesting because it's 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 a weird theme, right? There's like, ugh, I don't know, what, what are we gonna do? We're gonna make like ruin like a temple theme and it's gonna be like made out of <coughs> Like there are sections where you go inside of what looks like a thwomp's mouth. So I guess that's what the inside of the thwomp looks like. It just looks like the inside of a temple. And it's really cool because this is like the first time that you use the anti-grav mechanic to go completely sideways on the wall. 
they've also got, of course, they got Thwomps here. It's it's Thwomp Ruins after all, and it's just pretty cool theming all around. The soundtrack, it's got that not mysterious, but it's kind of got that exploration vibe to it. Um, there's waterfalls in the background, and there's these little dandelion things that you can run into, and you can make them poof out and go everywhere, and that's really, really neat. All in all, I think I like this one too. I don't think we're going to get very many I don't like it. I think the only distinction we're really going to get in these videos is I like it and I love it. Mario Circuit. Now, I know this is sort of like an, I, I guess, an iconic track. It was in all the trailers. It got a Smash Bros. stage. It's made in the shape of a little eight. And it really highlights the anti-grav mechanics very well. I will give props for that. The thing is, my whole problem with it is it just feels kind of boring. Like the the right side of the track is the exact same as the opposite side of the track. It's cool that you can go like the bridge is on the opposite side of the bridge on both sides when you go on the bridge. That's kind of neat and it kind of goes in on itself like infinity or an eight, I guess. My thing is it just feels kind of safe. It's like, oh, we got peaches. We got Peach's Castle, Piranha Plants, you know, it's a normal, normal Mario Kart track. And I just don't find it all that impressive. That's the problem with most, most tracks named Mario Circuit or Luigi Circuit or whatever. They end up just being like a normal track and there really isn't much to write home about. The soundtrack for this one, it's okay. It's normal. It's like, it's a nice pleasant song. I don't really like this course a ton. It's not bad, but I just don't really like it. Toad Harbor. Now this is one of our favorites, like when we're picking courses to go to, Toad Harbor is almost always one of the ones we pick in the times we play this game. And there's a lot of reasons why. Number one, it's just a really pleasant course. Um, it gives it gives off great vibes if I'm being honest. Like everyone loves the harbor. Everyone loves being down by the ocean, the port, and like the boats. Boats are cool. We like boats. And then there's this cute little marketplace that you go through. You can go on top of the stalls or underneath of them. And then you got a branching path and you can kind of skip part of the track. And it's just really neat. It's a cute little town. Even the walls, they've got like this little toad themed, it's like the spots and stuff. And it just feels nice. It feels like something you would find at like, I don't know, Boston or I don't know, San Francisco, it kind of feels that way with the trolleys. The soundtrack is very pleasant. It reminds me a lot of Wakeport from Mario and Luigi Dream Team, and maybe that's why I really like it. But this was one of the courses that I would say I love. So I think that's two loves for this video so far. The Twisted Mansion, pretty solid course as far as Luigi Mansion themed courses go. There's a few of them. It's got this cool little uh, library area, like a spooky library. You go on the walls, you can go left or right. Then you can go inside of like this monster thing. I don't know, he's got water inside. I don't know what the deal with that is. And then once you exit that, you go back into the mansion and you can go up the stairs or fly in on the balcony, avoid these little statue things with booze inside of them. It's just a nice little spooky, spooky course. It's got a spooky music too, very spooky. I wonder how many times I can say the word spooky. Got a nice little shortcut where you can cut through the library. The music is heavy on like those uh, weird sounds typically associated with scariness, like and organ stuff. The theming on this level is great. All in all, really like this course. Last and certainly not least, we have Shy Guy Falls. This is a really neat course. From the start when they introduce the level, they show you like this giant waterfall and like you get to go both up and down it and it's really neat. I also like the little shy guys working in the background going like, like that. That's always, that's very cute. It looks like the whole thing is like just over the top of this lake and you get to just race around this waterfall and it really shows off the anti-grab mechanic very well. The music feels all prospectory, not wild west, but like it's got a western flair to it. And once you hit that one jump and you soar out over, you get to see just how beautiful the course is. 
that's a really cool part of the level. This is one of the levels that really looks good in my opinion. And I, I like, oh, it's just a very pretty course. I like this one. And that brings us to the end of this video. I was thinking about including more cups in this, but I didn't want to make the video be too long. I'm thinking about doing YouTube shorts for each of the tracks too. Let me know down in the comments what you think about these courses. And of course, let me know if you want to see more videos just like this. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care.